So throughout the course of last year, we were talking quite a lot regarding new startup airlines. And one of those airlines was Starlux from Taiwan. Now for those people who don't know, they officially registered themselves as an airline in 2016 and they were originally expected to start their services last year. Now it goes without saying that starting an airline is a very long-winded and expensive procedure. But it seems like they're making good progress and they're now expecting to start their services in January 2020. They currently have plans to fly a handful of Asian destinations providing a daily service. Although their initial routes are yet to be confirmed, destinations under consideration include Japan, South Korea, Malaysia, Singapore and Thailand. Now yesterday we received word that they signed yet another order. They'll be welcoming 17 of the A350 aircraft and deliveries will begin in 2021. They also have 10 more options for the plane and these aircraft will be instrumental in the development of the brand new airline. During last year's Farnborough Air Show, they made their order, but it seems like it took them almost a year to finally confirm what they'll be getting. The order consists of 12 of the A350-1000s and 5 of the 900 model. They'll likely be used on their long-haul routes as they start to spread their wings, enabling the airline to serve the US East Coast destinations non-stop. Now to me, this sounds like a great initiative for the Taiwanese carrier. When you hear about a new airline starting, you rarely hear them buying a large bunch of brand new wide-body aircraft. So the fact that Starlux are ordering the A350 suggests that they have a great foundation in place and they're not tight with their money. It also suggests that they have a great strategic growth plan set in place. According to the CEO, by the middle of 2022, they plan to begin offering long-haul routes also. The CEO of Ava Air is heavily involved in the route planning to US destinations for the airline. So, not only do they have money, but they also have great connections with top people in the industry. So far, the airline has leased 10 of the Airbus A321neos for their regional destinations. The first of these will be delivered in October this year, with a further two to be handed over in January 2020, ready for the launch. So my friends, please do share your thoughts and opinions with us in the comments section below. What chances do you give the airline of becoming a key player within the Chinese market? Do you think the A350 is a good choice for them or do you think they should have gone for the Dreamliners or the 777 instead? Do let me know. Personally speaking, I'm very excited for them and I can sense that within 10 years, they'll be giving the key players in that region a very hard time. But as always, we shall wait and see. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe for more aviation videos and I hope to catch you guys very soon.